this video, we're going to be installing PyCharm, which will be the IDE you use with um, Python in CS230. So to start, you're just going to open your browser and go to jetbrains.com. In the top, you're going to navigate over to Learning Tools and click on PyCharm EDU. Once you get to this page, you can just click Download, and then it'll bring you to this screen um, for downloading. On the drop down next to Download, you'll see something that says .exe. You're going to want to change that to the extension for the system that you're on. If you're Windows, you can just leave it as .exe. If you're on Macs, you're going to want to change it to the .dmg. So once you click that, it should um, automatically open for downloading, and you're just going to save it somewhere where you can find it again. And um, now we're just going to wait for this to download. All right, now that that's done, I'll just open um, the folder that it's in and launch the uh, installation application. Once this loads up, you'll see welcome. Just hit next and then hit next again on the path, unless you want to change that. Hit next again. And once you get to this screen, you're going to want to make sure that you're clicking Python 3.8 and your associations.py are also checked. If you want, you can add a desktop shortcut by clicking check next to the 64-bit launcher. Um, click next and go to the next page and just click install. Um, now you're going to wait for this to load. It's going to install Python and the IDE. Once it finishes, you're going to see this screen and um, you're just going to click uh, run um, PyCharm if you want to open it and click finish it. And um, the IDE should now open. It popped up in the bottom there, blinking orange. Um, I'm going to just not import settings, click OK. You're going to click Learner and um, hit Start Using EDU Tools. Once you get to this screen, you can, um, if you want, go to Customize on the left and you can change the theme. I like mine a little bit brighter, so I'll just change it or uh, sync it with my operating system actually so it matches. And you're going to want to go back to Projects and um, you're going to want to create a folder in your OneDrive where you can put all your Python um, assignments. You can hit New Project for that, but since I already have one, I'm going to um, click Open Project and try to find where it is. I've got to go to my OneDrive. Oh, the, the link didn't work. Um, just a second. I'll go back and um, open up my actual um, folder. So once I get into my OneDrive and I hit this um, drop down in my CS230 folder, um, I have a folder called Source, and that is the project folder that I used for um, CS230. So all my um, assignments are in there. So if I select that as my project folder, um, I'll open it in this window. And it should, if I drop down on the left, have all the assignments um, and everything that I had done for Python. So once you get a project open, a project folder open, you can um, get started coding in Python. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out cissandbox.com for information on how to get help in your Python course.